I went to like a Sunday morning like drama class and hated it. Hi everyone, it's Silesh Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. I'm delighted you could join me. I'll be talking to Ritu Arya, one of the stars of the new British action comedy film Polite Society. This is written and directed by Nida Mansour, who created the hit TV show We Are Lady Park. Let's go and meet Ritu now. You knew Nida Mansour before you came to work on this film, I understand. You'd done three three pieces of work with her before. So can you explain your relationship prior to actually being on the film? Um, yeah, I had done a short with her called Lady Parts. Um, and then I did an episode of Doctor Who with her. Oh, um, yeah. And so this was the third time that we were working together. Um, yeah. yeah, I I loved working with her um, right. uh, before. And this time was just, you know, even better because we got to... It was, you know, for even yeah. longer. My sister Lena is the only person who believes in me. How much about the film did you know before? Did, did you kind of bond when you when you were working together? And did she share the fact that she had this feature film script, which obviously she'd been working on for a while? You know what? Actually, I don't think she did mention this. Right. But she did say while we were filming that she wrote this before she'd even written Lady Parts. Mm, yeah, um, correct. Yeah. Which I thought was pretty interesting. Yeah. So, inspiring I think for writers to know like don't don't give up on the script that you wrote a while back like no absolutely not out. yeah was it a kind of an, an, an a normal kind of audition process then did you do you um play play for the part of Lena and and all that yeah it was um I was on set with Umbrella I was film Umbrella Academy I was filming season three and I think right. the schedule was a bit intense um, so sort of on a lunch break, I had a Zoom meeting with her and yeah, did did my reading. Right. I wasn't I wasn't too sure if I would be reading the scenes because, you know, I hadn't worked with her. She, I was like, she kind of knows what I'm about. But yeah, but yeah, we did the, the reading um, mm. and then, yeah, got the part. And I was. <laughs> Want to help me with a vid for my channel? What did you make of the script when you first saw it? And obviously, you were you were handed the part of, of Lena Khan, the big sister, as it were. Um, yeah, I really, really uh, loved the script. It was um, sort of unpredictable, but also expected because I know Nither's tone, and so right. it was as crazy as I expected. <laughs> right, be. right. Um, full of comedy and action, yeah. and its own its own kind of genre bending world um oh well, it's great it works anyway i think and uh you're fantastic in it as, as is everyone in the movie really oh, so she helps me with all my training you are going to be such a great stunt on them what was the hardest bit of playing lena did you did you bring a lot was there a lot on the page or could you bring a lot to it to yourself you know of yourself yeah i mean they super collaborative so any ideas that i had I would you know you know bring them up and some she was like this is great and some she'd be like absolutely not um, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um and I but, asked you what she said absolutely not to <laughs> I don't know I can't even remember nothing to right. me. but um yeah I feel like uh, Lena was uh, on, on the page I was so drawn to her I think mm you know i felt like this would be really exciting to to get to play and build on um and ex yeah, just explore like a yeah other right. and this you know this thing where she's like in this place of feeling lost and without purpose i just i can feel so familiar to right um, so and well, like yeah. it's just uh yeah kind of art, the artistic impulse and yet the you know knowing how uncertain that path is you must identify with that especially I mean going back a few years now but um, yeah when you were first coming out yeah definitely uh, but even like with it without it being about art I think just generally you know at the, that age of maybe not even that age just generally in life like yeah. not knowing where you're heading Yes, yes. Feeling this pressure that we must, because you see your peers kind of knowing, being more sure of themselves, and you can just feel like you're this sort of 
shell of a being because you haven't got this drive or this passion or this decision i don't know uh, well it's, it's it's quite a contrast between you and and ria you know the younger sister in the film because she's very clear about what she wants to do and she's not wavering from it and she's just going to go for it whereas your your character is a little bit more conflicted or slightly you know doesn't quite know as you say she's not quite sure mm. where she's going and and how she's going to get there and i thought that's a that's a good contrast yeah that was dope, though. How was it to take it to Sundance and the world premiere? How was the like? It's a British film. It's very British in many ways, I think. And and then having it premiere there, how did people respond to it? Yeah, I think they responded really well. Um, right. we had the the slot that was at midnight, which was so. Yeah, good. I don't think right. I've ever gone to the cinema at midnight before. So I was like, "Is anyone going to turn up?" <laughs> but it was packed out and they were still right. there at the end and I was like wow lately she's been seeing this guy who I think is a bit of a smarmy wanker it's going to be a great movie in the same way like Bend It Like Beckham Woods and it's going to you know cross boundaries and all that um, and be a real example of a, a really inspiring for young for young girls especially did, did you feel that when you were playing it? Did, was there any, what kind of expectations did you have, if any, of, you know, when, when you did this? You know, I guess it's, it can be, I, uh, it's, I don't think it's useful for me when I, if I think about that. Right. For me, it's just this character solely and their truth. And I think the more specific you can be just to a person and what they're going through in their circumstances, actually, the more it relates to everyone in the world, sure. because that's what we're all going through. Like, no, absolutely. Yes. Yes. I mean, what, what, what kind of films did you did you relate to when you were kind of come, when you were growing up? Was there any kind of character or particular film that you really uh, looked up to in the way that I think a lot of young girls are going to look up, look at this film and especially Rhea and Lena to some, some degree as well? I did grow up on a lot of Bollywood movies and I was a huge, and still I'm a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan. Oh, cool. Um, yes. So, Dilwale Dhania Le and Kush Yeah. Just like, yeah. they, I just grew up watching those and being like, oh my God. And Kajol, I was just like, yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, I was like, what are, how do I ever get to meet them or, or <laughs> what are they doing? Why, you know? So, I think there was just always this curiosity that, was sparked from from that and is that what drew you to acting is that did i have that big kind of impact inspiration i think is, so yeah. right yeah, i think did, so did you do a lot of drama at school and and were you very yeah. keen on, on, a, on a career in the dramatic yeah. art i i did do a lot of school plays but i remember when i was really young asking my mom if i could go to some sort of like drama um class and so I went to like a Sunday morning like drama class and hated it um I was very <laughs> shy. everyone was really confident it was all musical theater and it was just too intimidating right. so I think I didn't do it for like years and years um after that and I was more into like dancing so I would like put on you know dance routines with my cousins mm -hmm. at all the mm -hmm. Indian functions yeah. the, you know all the Spice Girls, and we felt really, really oh, cool. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, and then I took GCSE drama, right? Uh, and then A level drama, um, and so and then started doing school plays around that age, around yes, around sixteen. Why would you tell people to watch this film? Because they're going to have a wonderful time watching it. It's it's funny it's full of action uh, but at the heart of it it's about you know two siblings that love each other and um so i think it's for everyone go uh, it, it's gonna be really fun thank you so much thank you take care all the best did you see my kick of course i bloody did it was magical <laughs>